Welcome to this demo of the FX Loader Cloud service for integration with Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. The FX Loader Cloud service runs on an Oracle Cloud platform and is made up of pages to configure your FX rates integration and a background scheduler to get, process and load the rates. REST web service calls are made to any of our rates providers. Rates are then processed according to your configuration and loaded into your Oracle ERP Cloud or Oracle Sales Cloud application using a web service provided by Oracle. So let's look at FX Loader to see the configuration options available. Access the application via a browser and log in using the credentials supplied for your company. The homepage shows metrics for your company and the five latest jobs with links to see the details for each job. The configuration is centered around one or more runs supported by currency sets and ERP instances to load rates into. First, we'll create the instance, which is the link to your Fusion Cloud application. Give the instance a name and enter the URL of the environment, along with a username and password for a user with sufficient access. We recommend this user has the minimum access needed to create rates. We have a document describing these roles. We can also enter your accounting calendar type and accounting year start date to use to calculate period, quarter or year to date averages. Once saved, we can click send test to check the connectivity to the application. This doesn't create any rates, but sends a small test file to the UCM. Next, we need to create a currency set which is the list of currencies you need to load rates for. Give the set a name and pick the currencies we need from the master list. We'll choose a few common currencies. We can choose as many as we need here, as long as they are available from the source chosen. We can create additional currency sets if we need to load from another source, such as a central bank. For example, if you need official rates from the Mexico Central Bank, you would create a currency set containing USD and MXN to be used by a separate fetch stage. If you're using an old or non-standard currency code in your ERP, enter the standard code to fetch the rates from the source. For example, for Mexico, you can get MXN rates and load them against the old code MXP. Flag a currency as base to determine which cross rates you need. You can also set rounding or other overrides for individual currencies. When used as a from or to currency, or even for a specified currency pair. Finally, we set up the runs you need to schedule. We set a frequency of the run, most often daily, but you can select other options, including setting specific dates. For period end and period average rates, you can run once per period. Select the time the scheduler should submit the jobs and start the next start date to the date you want to start loading from. Automatic retry options control the interval and number of times to retry in the event of a problem. This is useful when Oracle Fusion is down for patching or upgrading as they avoid the need for manual intervention. Next, we define the stages of the run. First, we create a fetch stage to pull the rates from one of the sources. Pick a source of rates. For a paid source such as OAND or XIgnite, you'll need a subscription from them, which can be included in your FX Loader subscription. Pick the currency set we just created and choose the from and to currencies to fetch. We'll use US dollar rates to all others, but you can choose any combination. The date offset allows you to fetch rates for a different date to the date of the run. We'll use minus one to get closing rates for the previous day. Finally, there are parameters specific to certain providers, fixed time for Xignite and source decimal places for OANDA. You would create multiple fetch stages if you need rates from multiple sources. We have the options to create cross rates via a triangulate stage. We'll pick the same currency set and choose to calculate cross rates from our base currencies to all others. The pivot currency will be US dollars, as we have those from the fetch stage. Triangulate stages are not always needed. 
You can choose instead to get all combinations of rates directly from the source, or you may not need cross rates at all. Finally, create a load stage, which send rates to Oracle Fusion Cloud. Pick the instance we set up earlier, enter the rate type to load into, use date offset to determine the date to load the rates into, for example, enter one to load dates into the next day. Extra days allows you to enter the rates into a range of dates in Oracle. So enter two to load the next two days with the same rates. Pick bid, ask or midpoint for market rates. You can round rates to a number of decimal places. Alternatively, you can round to significant figures, which is useful when dealing with very low value currencies. You can set up multiple load stages to load different instances of the same ERP or into a different ERP. We can also use the verify step to check rates go all the way through to ERP Cloud. This checks in five or 10 minutes later to ensure all the ESS requests completed successfully. Finally, let's set up a notification to send an email in the event of error, retry or warning. We can also send an email with a CSV file of the rates. So that's it. When we set the status to ready, it'll run every day at the chosen time. We can also submit a job immediately as of any date you choose. So let's jump into our Oracle ERP Cloud application to see how FX Loader sends the rates. The FX Loader load stage has sent the rates to the UCM in the ERP instance and then submitted the enterprise scheduler job called Load Interface File for import. This then submits the child jobs, transfer file, load file to interface, and finally import and calculate daily rates, which validates and uploads the rates to the core daily rates table. If we look at this final job, we see it completed successfully. We can open the log file to see that 27 rates were loaded. The daily rates are now available for use within the application. These are the final rates set up by the load stage, including those fetched from the provider, calculated by triangulation and rounded by the load stage. So let's have a look at the rates that have been loaded. Navigate to the Manage Currency Rates screen and select Daily Rates. Let's check USD to SGD for the date we loaded. Type Corporate. We can see 1.357595. Of course, you can also see all actions taken and rates from the jobs page in the FX Loader application. The log file details all the steps taken. This is the information sent to the notification email addresses you set up. We can also see the stages of the job, the rates fetched and the rates finally loaded. We can create separate runs for period end and period average rates if needed. For period end, we can copy the daily run. Give it an appropriate name and set the frequency to be based on your accounting periods. Use offset days to indicate if it should run on the last day of the period or the day before or the first day of the next period, for example. This is based on your accounting calendar we set up against the instance. We then need to change the rate type and the load stage to whatever you set up in Oracle. We would probably also want to change the date offset so it loads into the last day of the period. For period averages, we can copy this run. We don't need a fetch stage as we calculate averages from rates already loaded. This allows us to take an overall average if you use more than one source for your daily rates. First, we pick the criteria for the rates we want to average. Let's select the daily run and specify an average of corporate rates. Then we set the date range to calculate averages over. We have lots of options here to support quarter to date, year to date or rolling averages. Period averages are most often needed, so we'll set the end date to the date we are running and the start to be the start of the period. 
Then we change the rate type and date offset in the load stage as we did for period end. To find out more, please visit our website at fxloader.com where you can contact us and request a free 30-day trial. Or you can get in touch via our Oracle Cloud Marketplace listing. Just search for the Marketplace and scroll down to the Financials Cloud section.